Okay, so one more day of section. Okay, so number 37 is the first one. This is 65, correct? Only like four of them. Okay. So. Okay, so number 37, this one hopefully isn't that bad. We have to solve 30 times 5 to the what power? x plus 3 equals 150. The x plus 3 equals 150, okay? Our first steps are real simple steps. It's a step that you learned back in middle school, like seventh grade. Okay, you want to get x by itself. First thing you're going to get rid of is this 30. And it says 30 times that, so we're going to divide by 30. The opposite of times and 30, dividing by 30. These 30s cancel. We have 5 to the x plus 3 equals, if you take uh, 150 divided by 30, come by 30s to 150, you get 5. Okay, just 5. And our bases are the same. Now, this one has an exponent of x plus 3. You don't see the exponent here. It's there, though. It's a 1. If you don't see it, it's a 1. So we talked about this yesterday. If the bases are the same, we just ignore them. So I'm going to write down x plus 3 equals 1. Set the exponents equal to each other. Then you got one more step. Subtract 3. X is 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. Okay, hopefully that was a pretty easy one. Just divide by 30 and then set the uh, powers or the uh, equal to each other, the exponents equal to each other. So we get number 39. 39 is a little bit tougher. A little bit tougher question here. 39, we have 4, 3 to the something to the negative 2x minus 4. equals 36. This one we start out the same way, okay? Uh, this one's a teensy bit tougher, but not too much tougher, okay? Parentheses means multiply, so we get rid of this four by dividing by four, just like we did in the last one, okay? Here they just had a little dot for times, here they have a parenthesis for times, either way it's times, okay? These fours cancel, so we're up to three to the negative two x minus four equals 36 divided by four, which is nine. Now here's where it's just a little bit tougher, okay? Our bases are not the same. We did this yesterday, though. If the bases aren't the same, make them the same. We could rewrite 9. Now, I know you could say, well, that's, that's 3 times 3, and you're not wrong, okay? But we don't want to write it as a times problem. We want to write it as a power, I'm sorry, a base to a power. So another way of saying 3 times 3 is 3 to the power of 2, 3 squared. And if we do that, it's nice because my bases are the same, okay? So we ignore the bases, right? Don't even look at them. We're going to put negative 2x minus 4 equals 2. The exponent has to equal the exponent. So we add 4 to each side. Negative 2x equals 2 plus 4, which is 6. Divide negative 2. x is 6 divided by negative 2, which is negative 3. Okay? So that was just a little bit tougher than the one we just did. But it's basically the same problem. Okay. 40 is the next one in the assignment. You can do that one on your own. I just have two more to do with you guys. We're going to jump to number 43, numbers 43 and 45. Okay, so 43, we have 3 to the 3x plus 6 has to equal 27 to the x plus 2. Okay, make sure I wrote that down right. 3 to the 3x plus 6, 27 to the x plus 2. Two. Okay, so our bases are not the same, but what we can do, though, is I could rewrite 27 as something else. 27, well, I know I would like to have a base of 3. That's the same as 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. And 3 times 3 times 3 is the same as 3 to the third power, x plus 2. Okay, our bases are the same now. And we have a power to a power, so we multiply them. So 3 to the 3 times x, 3 times 2 is 6. And this is an interesting one here, okay? So our bases are the same. Thank you. And so we're going to set our exponents equal to each other. So 3x plus 6, that's equal 3x plus 6. Okay. 
Well, we have an x on each side. We get rid of the smaller one. In this case, they're the same. So it doesn't matter which one we get rid of. If I do that, I'm not going to get x by itself. The x's are gone. 12 plus 6 equals 6. When is 6 equal to 6? Never. Always. So you know what the solution is? It's an infinite number of solutions. No matter what you plug in for x, everything's going to work, OK? There's an infinite number of solutions. Now, what if it would have said 6 equals 16? Then it's never. There'd be no solution. Because that's never true. 6 is never equal to 16. So there'd be no solution. So keep that in mind, OK? All right, one more to go. So we have a 4 to the x plus 3 has to equal what? 2 squared x plus 1. Okay, is that what's written? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and distribute this. We do that. We have 4 to the x plus 3 equals. 2 to the 2x plus 2, 2 times x, 2 times 1, okay? Our bases are not the same, so we're going to make them the same. I could rewrite 4 using a 2, and again, you might say, well, it's 2 times 2. Yeah, another way of saying 2 times 2, though, is 2 to the power of 2, to the x plus 3, equals 2 to the 2x plus 2, okay? We have a power to a power, so we multiply them, 2 times x. 2 times 3. Now it's nicer because our bases are the same. If you remember, some of these are, are kind of you know, in depth, but the beginning of this assignment, the bases were the same. So they're, they're the first half dozen questions, you should be able to knock out really, really fast if you haven't already. These are the ones that take a little more work. The bases are the same, so we set the exponents to equal to each other. Again, we get an x on each side, get rid of the smaller one, but in this case, they're the same, so it doesn't matter which one to get rid of. We just talked about this a second ago. These cancel, so we're left with 6. These cancel equals 2. When is 6, 2? Never. There's no solution. I don't care what you plug in for x. Nothing's going to work. Okay. And again, some students say, so 0 is the answer? No, it's not. Nothing works, not even 0. There is no answer. Okay. Question on these. OK, you got the rest of the hour to work. Tomorrow during your virtual day, you need to finish it up. If it isn't already, it's due, I think, at 3 o'clock tomorrow, and then we're starting a new section on Thursday. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay. If you have questions, ask.